Hello, my beautiful Leo friends. How are you today? Welcome to the channel, Irish Donna Tarot. We're here to do a love reading, past, present, future for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And we're going to look at the recent past energy, Seven of Wands energy. So we are seeing you feeling as though, Leo, you want to bust out. This is your energy. Welcome to your reading, Leo. The Hanged Man energy, Pisces energy, and Leo energy. So you're really looking at things from a different perspective. It's beautiful energy, and you are all muscled up and ready for love. Love is tattooed on your shoulder, my friends. Let's look and see what else we have for the recent past. Ace of Cups, Leo. You fell in love with somebody, and you want to bust out of the prison that you put yourself in. Oh, I love that energy for you. The, even the hanged man. Look at how beautifully dressed that hanged man is. I love it. Gorgeous. Look at the flowers. You're overflowing with love. There is a butterfly of transformation. All of these love butterflies are flying out. It's time. The Hermit card. So we have Virgo energy for you. And the present energy right now is that you're really looking at things from a different perspective. You're looking at you're looking at things from a different perspective. You're seeking answers um, to how to have the love life that you want. Hermit energy, Virgo energy. So you might be dealing with a Virgo Pisces Cancer or another Leo. Look at Three of Cups. You're in love with a friend, somebody who's very dear to you. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. I mean, somebody who's really nurtured you, somebody with whom you have a lot of fulfillment, you have a lot of fun, you have a natural affinity for your person. Ace of Cups, Three of Cups. That's like when you um, people like to say, well, I married my best friend, and that's what you're really looking at, that energy. Temperance card, Reconciliation. Now, this can mean balancing things out in your own life because this is your energy. And so it really can mean that you're really you're looking for somebody who's going to be a dear friend and a dear love and with whom you can really have a very balanced love life with. But this is also the card of reconciliation. It looks like an old friend, an old lover, somebody that you are very close to is coming back into your life. And it looks like it happened recently, but I would say you set it in motion, Leo. That Ace of Cups, you're setting, you're opening yourself up. This What we have here is like the world card, opening to new love. All right opening your heart in a beautiful way the future five of swords ouch didn't see that coming but that's the way it is so what i'm seeing here with the five of swords is this need to fight your shadow side um it really speaks to the fact that there is that fear of abandonment you have been really hurt in the past by someone that you loved and it has left some battle wounds you know it shows that you feel some really big scars here that you're going to have to work through. The Five of Swords says that you've gotten a raw deal from somebody. The Nine of Swords says that you can't get that pain sort of banished from your life. Now, when we look at the future and we see that, it's possible that it hasn't happened. But we see the Lover's card, a choice is made. So the clarifiers are definitely going to tell the story on this reading. But for the overall energy, let's look at what the Moonology deck is telling you is kind of the secret underlying issue in this relationship reading. But that Lover's card is a beautiful outcome. So for you, Leo, I see this is a very powerful reading, one in which there's going to have to be healing. And there has been already. Okay, so Moonology is telling you a fiery climax approaches. So really what we're seeing here is that you need passion. And that's so Leo, fiery, baby, fiery. So that's okay. So let's jump in here and see what is going on in this reading. Why do we have the Seven of Wands here? Why is Leo trying to bust out a jail, the get out of jail free card? You're setting yourself free. The Two of Swords means that you have really taken your time to make a decision about a situation. The Three of Cups, a Three of Cups, Three of Cups. You are your self-imposed limitations, the fact that you ignored how you were feeling, 
it looks as though you were in a situation, Leo, that in which you really love somebody, but you, you've been holding yourself back, but you are busting out now. Why is the hanged man here? What is it that you need to look at differently in this situation? Too many cards. Okay, let's see. But this one was poking out. Okay. We have the chariot card, beautiful. So it really looks as though maybe you rushed in at a time earlier and got yourself into a situation that was thorny, that was hurtful, that, that some things went on in the past, but you're remembering them or you're projecting them into the future. So it's gonna be very important for you to stay focused with your chariot card and your three of cups energy. So the Ace of Cups, why is the Ace of Cups here for you? Knight of Pentacles energy, very a hermit. Okay, so we have a very strong Virgo energy. Venus is in Virgo right now as we look at this time of reading. So I feel as though uh, many of you are choosing the path uh, of recognizing or reuniting with somebody. I feel like reconciliation is the reason we have these things. You're very worried about being hurt. You're very worried about it. So let's see what the Hermit card is going to tell us about your reading. What is the Hermit card going to say to us? Temperance. Look at that. Temperance twice. Okay. So now we have temperance here clarifying the hermit card you're tired of being alone you want to be with your person this is your best friend you know you held yourself back and it looks as though there were some fights that made you feel as though it was really unfair that you were treated unfairly and you're still worried about it at this time but let's look and see about your friend here who is this person that you love so much Aww. Somebody who walked away from you. Oh, Leo, I'm sorry. Somebody walked away. And you weren't really quite sure. You didn't really understand it fully. But it does look like you have, you've really looked at this from a different perspective. You're moving towards your person. You know, you are really in the process of finding out what happened because both of you still love each other. That is a mutual love. Temperance card, what is that about? Five of Swords, oh man. So the Five of Swords energy now is haunting the relationship because the Five of Swords energy is a, a hard limit. The Five of Swords represents something that made your person walk away from you and that they felt you know, was a very, very dark energy and they couldn't tolerate it, so they walked away. They made a choice to try to take care of themselves. I don't see this as a bad reading. To me, this is a reading that's very evolutionary because we have all the butterflies with the Ace of Cups and Temperance. We have the willingness to work on it. We have the Chariot card. Again, Three of Cups. So much love. So much love. So let's see what else we have here for the Five of Swords. So we have the Five of Swords with Temperance. So working and balancing out difficulties or the way that you're going to handle disagreements five of swords is like an ugly fight it's a really it's a very very bad fight and so the fact that we see it twice tells me leo that it was really it just was like a knife in your heart you felt like part of you died the magician card okay some of you could be dealing with a gemini you have all the tools the magician card is you have the tools to manifest making this five of swords turn into something that's creative and beautiful and communicative it's like being co-creators with your person as opposed to who's right what's right you know this is an ego driven battle that turned from wands to swords and because we see how much you love each other we see how much you adore each other and you know when this went wrong it shows that you do have all the tools to manifest queen of swords energy so what happened here in this situation was you or the other person stopped seeing each other because it just didn't seem you were on the same page it felt raw it was painful and so that decision was made but that card of manifestation is there you have the ability to all oh, the lovers card again lovers card so you're choosing love over ego you're choosing love over anything that feels raw it's beautiful because happiness is a choice 
So tell us more about this Five of Swords, though. The World card, it's over, yay. Oh my gosh. So what I'm seeing here is as a reader, and I look at this reading for you, this seems a little awkward, okay. Um, what I'm seeing for you here, Leo, is this energy that you have really grown. You know, there was some sort of restriction or pain from the past that made you behave this way. And it, you put yourself in this sort of self-imposed prison. But it's really beautiful because after looking at this from a different perspective, you've sort of worked through what you need to do to change it. So why do we have the uh, Five of Swords energy one more time on the Five of Swords since it's come up twice. We see the World card, so you're really over it. Eight of Wands, that the passionate connection between the two of you breathes so much life, so much happiness. You know, when we look at the Seven of Wands, you're going to free yourself to make love with this person. We have the Lover's card here. We had it twice, right? We had um, the Magician, wait, I thought we had the lovers. Yeah, here it is right here on top. So we have the lovers card twice. So, you know, what this really says is that an old wound that you didn't work through, you have now worked through it. You're setting yourself free. It could still come back. It could pop up like, you know, a pimple. <laughs> but it is only temporary because you are manifesting what you want with that magician. The strength card, look at this. You have the strength that is Leo energy. There you are, Leo, in your reading. A couple of times now, you have the strength to, to get through this. Look at this. Here you have this beautiful person. You're going to you're gonna like mate with the crow. The crow is about the truth, but the crow sometimes can be a shapeshifter, but the crow always remembers. Crows are very spiritual creatures, and we have this beautiful infinity symbol. So even though you've been caught in your pride, <laughs> the pride of the lion, um, in and feeling as though you weren't treated well, but that has truly, as you look at it differently, it's not that you've been treated poorly. It's that you were reacting in old behavior patterns that undermined the, the basis of the relationship. And so is your person, because we got the Five of Swords twice. So both of you were in that energy. So both of you have really been through it. And when you came together, you did have a beautiful experience, but you did kind of repeat a pattern. King of Pentacles, there you go. Look at that. The infinity symbol with the King of Pentacles is giving you a very solid foundation. The King of Pentacles is the second house on the astrology wheel. It's all about what you value. Stability, love, loyalty, passion. Oh, gorgeous. Why is a lover's card here twice now? the Four of Swords. Yeah, you took a break. So for some of you, you could have been apart, you know, before this reconciliation. Some of you could have been apart for four months. You needed to take a break to heal. And you did. And you will. And you are going to keep, you're going to sort of cycle through this. There is going to be a little bit of repetition where you fall into this sort of victim mode. And you're going to pull yourself up because you've really figured it out. You're manifesting something better. You're out of your head more and more. And we have the Three of Coins collaboration. I love that. I, the Three of Coins and the Three of Cups are two of the best relationship cards in the deck. And I'm going to look at the Shaman Dream Oracle for you for advice. So it does look like you have to look out for old habit patterns that could turn negative. Both you and your partner have been wounded. So, but you are best friends. You are making the choice to work on this relationship and you have everything you need. Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom. All right, so you are being called upon to ask for help from your ancestors. Somebody is there waiting to help you. And adaptability, good, okay. So by being adaptable, you can just really sidestep that terrible energy that has really hurt you in the past. Leo, I'm going to leave it there. It's been a joy. Thank you so much for joining me. Bye-bye.